Well, to begin with, I want to ask you a question. When you think of a wave, what's the first thing that pops up into your mind? Is it something related to water? Is it something related to wind? Or is it something related to clothing? For me, fashion is the first thing that I suddenly thought of thinking of a wave. Fashion helps people find confidence. Fashion helps people make a difference. Fashion also helps people enjoy the beauty of life in another way. In Chinese, there's a word called dressing style, chuan da. This word has become more popular during recent years. Everybody has their own style. Each of them is very special. I adopted my own style as a really young age. Here's a picture of me wearing those clothes, which I think is really cool at that time. I may think myself look like a pumpkin or even ugly now. However, I definitely thought of myself as really fashionable and super stylish at that time. When we think about fashion clothing, many of us will recall up some fashion luxury brands such as Louis Vuitton, Dior, Givenchy, or some fashion week such as Paris Fashion Week and Shanghai Fashion Week. But what is fashion? Is it the beautiful clothing models wear on? Is it the beautiful woman or man with poor clothing? Or is it somebody or something which is relevant to luxury brand with, with special patterns? It is not easy to answer because it means different things to different people with different backgrounds. French fashion designer Coco Chanel ever said, fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. Fashion is in the sky, is in the street. Fashion has to do with ideas, the way we live, and what is happening. From my perspective, fashion is like a wave. It can be an expression of ourselves, of our group of people, and of our region. Fashion can also be a standard for the economy level, civilization, and our personal choices. However, this wave sometimes leads to some impact. In our generation, many youths like me pursued the fashion clothing. However, people now started consuming more and more unnatural resources, such as woods, cottons, water, animal leather, chemicals, and more wastes. In my dad's hometown, there's a village where there are only 200 people living there. It was a beautiful town surrounded by clean river coming from the nearby mountain. Through several decades of industrial revolution, the river became dark. There were no fish in the river anymore. People living there suffered high cancer compared with other area. The evidence shows that the manufacturing emission of wastewater coming from the textile industry contributed the most to the high rate of cancer. If this is the price we have to pay for fashion, we have to stop. These days, when I open my online shopping apps and look for fashion items, I found that there are lots of fashion clothing with very cheap price. When I asked my friends, a lot of them told me that usually they will buy some of those clothes and wear them only once. Because of the poor quality and low price, the clothes, garment, and outfit become trash after only using it once or twice. If, keep, if there are more and more people keep doing these kind of things, the process of making those clothes and the process of dealing with this trash become unfriendly to our environment. Then, how can we navigate through the fashion wave? What can we choose as young generation? My answer is to select fashion style which is friendly to our environment and our community. I believe that there might be fashion that can keep our human being future sustainable and green, not only in our nature environment, but also in the society and the planet people live in. Nowadays, almost all luxury brands use animal fur to produce their suits. During this process, they need workers to process and make the fur fit for their clothes. They might use large amount of water and finally become wastewater. It will be very bad for the, for the 
people living in the environment and also the ecosystem where the animals live. Burning might be one of the methods to deal with those trash. And also, the combustion made for those clothing might be very bad for the, our environment. However, although there are some brands that keep harming the environment, there are also some brands that use garbage and waste to make their item. Take Loop Swim as an example. Their target as a brand is to protect what we love and to make the plastic out of our oceans. The material they use to make their suits are coming from recycled plastic bottles, which will be very friendly to our environment. Also, when I was doing research, I found that there are lots of universities in China use that their students who study fashion design a topic as eco-fashion. They let their students to make suits and dress not only fashionable, but also environmentally conscious. Some used waste cans to make suits, some used waste curtain to make dress, and some even used the post mosquito net and delivery packages to make dress, which is both amazing and challenging. I believe that there might be a lot of fashions coming through that will relate to our environmental protection these days. Again, as Coco Chanel ever said, fashion is not something that exists in dresses only. Fashion is in the sky, it's in the street. Fashion has to do with ideas, the way we live, and what is happening. I like the way with fresh air, clean water, blue ocean, and healthy human being with bright future. Thank you.